a strong jaw, a definite nose. I am looking at photographs of my face. I am growing into quite a handsome humanoid. But my scrutiny is not all vanity. This week's club activity is to draw a self-portrait. That is to draw your own face. Send your face to the commander and you will become a member of the Secret City Club. Here's Sarah Vicker's face. She used a mirror to observe what she looks like. Nice drawing, Sarah. Nice face. To get your free 3D club card, ask your mom or dad to help you send a self-addressed stamped envelope to New Club Card, P.O. Box 361, Oceanside, California, 92049. Remember, you must include a self-addressed stamped envelope to get your 3D club card. Hi, we are Carol and David Geyer. We're with Theatrical Makeup and Supply. We're here today with you to show you how you can transform your face by using theatrical makeup. Today, we're going to give you a pretty easy example, that of transforming your face to look like a clown. To do that, we have Wade and Sherry Pauly with us today. They're going to become two very different per people by using theatrical makeup. We're going to make Wade a happy clown, Sherry a sad clown. The first thing that we do is to use white foundation for the clown base. We use a pancake makeup. That means that it goes on with soap and water. David's going to start adding the colors. Well, I put the blue on because I want to give him a nice big eye. And then I'm going to use this grease pencil to give it a highlight there. Oops, took that one off. You sharpen that. Just like I'm going to pencil. show you how we put the white base on. I'm going to start with Sherry. As you can see, I use a little bit of water in my sponge. The nice thing about this makeup is that it comes off with soap and water. Okay, tilt your head back. There we go. Okay, close your eyes. Makes the face very, very big and bright, so it's easier for people to see you. It also makes you look a lot different, so that maybe you can trick your friends and they won't know who you are. Now, I'm going to kind of do one side here at a time, and then we can show a little bit more. What I'm going to do is do a little bit on the eyes here to make it much, much brighter. I'm going to use a cake makeup here with the black. Okay, keep your eyes closed, Wade. Now you can see this white base makeup goes on pretty easily. And it really makes your face look different. So that I don't get any kind of streaks on Sherry's face, I dot it, I blot the sponge all over the face to get a nice even coverage. Okay, look up. There you go. Close your eyes. Find one thing and look at it. There you go. I guess I can't say, don't blink, right? No, no, just look up. It makes your face look very, very different. <laughs> you can see David's already started on the eyes. He's going to use really bright colors. That's the best thing to do when you're doing clown faces no, is no. to use primary okay. bright colors. Yellows, blacks, oranges, reds. Now with the white, you have to cover the whole face with white first. Depending on the kind of clown that you want to be, maybe instead of just doing your face, you'd want to also do your ears and your neck, depending on the costume that you were going to wear also. I'm going to give, this is my happy clown, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to be a happy clown? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to give you a great big mouth then. You can see we use on Wade the primary colors. We've got blue and red. And black. And black. Should I give you a great big mouth? Huh? You don't talk too much, do you? <laughs> okay. Now I'm just putting this on with my finger. That makes it easier because I can do it uh, pretty quickly. And then I'm going to highlight the whole thing. Not highlight it, but rather you know, outline it all in the black. And that will make it look real sharp. It's okay. Just as you can take a piece of paper and draw on it and transform it into something totally different, we can take a face and draw on it and transform it into a different character. That's what we're doing today. I think Wade looks different already. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, Carol and David Geyer. Hi, Zebtron. What are these creatures? Well, this is Wade and Sherry, and we're, we're pretending to make them up as clowns today. Clowns? Mm-hmm. I do not know what a clown is. Well, a clown is a person who dresses up in a Good. really unusual costume and puts lots of bright makeup on their face so that they can entertain people, make people laugh, make people happy. That is like an actor in the theater? Yes, but I think that the place that you'll find more clowns is in the circus. I know what a circus is. Mm -hmm. I have heard about circuses. That is where they have trained animals who do tricks, and they have jugglers, and they have people who get shot out of cannons. And they also have lots of clowns. And although Wade and Sherry aren't professional clowns, the clowns in the circus are. And do you know what they do? No. They, once they come up with a design for their face, their makeup, they copyright it so that no one else can use it. And it's theirs. Please continue doing your clown design. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is start adding some lines on Sherry. Sherry's our sad clown today, so we're going to draw lines that come down, around and down from her face. Do clowns have names? Oh, yes. In fact, I think Wade's clown name today is uh, Spiker. Spiker. I like that name, Spiker. And Sherry's name is Cotton Clown. Cotton Clown. That, too, is a very nice name. And these are names that they came up themselves whenever they decided that they wanted to be clowns. My name is Zeptron. <laughs> Did you make up that name yourself? No. My mother and father gave it to me. Ah, well, see, the difference with becoming a clown is that once you design your own face, you can also come up with your own name. I'm going to use purple on Sherry because I think it's a really nice color. Very bright. Do you ever use pink? Sometimes. You can use almost any color you want to. See, this was a combination of Wade's idea and mine when we decided what he was going to look like. So we decided, as Carol's explaining, the very Excuse basic me, Zed colors. Tom. I want to put, put that some, wig on Put Wade's some head. patterns on his face to make him look exciting and have fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. That is okay. Let's see. Let's see Does if we make can... make a difference? <laughs> he looks like a real clown. I think so, too. I have some really neat drawings to show you in the Secret City Gallery today. I hope you're practicing your drawings and hope you're getting better and better. And the more you look at your drawings, the more you practice your drawings, the better your skill will get and the more elaborate your Secret Cities will get. Let's look at some Secret Cities here. This is done by Kimby. Look at the robot in the middle. Try to pick a spot here where she used that special art word tilt. Do you know where she used some shading? How about surface? Making an object lower in the paper than another object make it appear closer to you. See, all those magic words are really important. Want to see another Secret City? All right, let's see another one. This Secret City is done by Larry Hill. Look at this. Beautiful drawing for shortening, shading, surface. Well, good job. Good drawing.